I think this actually is a big W for your boy, Jack Harlow. So rumors has it, he officially, I don't think he stole Lori Harvey from Michael B. Jordan, but he may be the next one on her list of celebrities that she's taken down mm -hmm. before hitting 25. So your thoughts on Lori Harvey and Jack Harlow dating rumors? Um, I mean, if it's true, like more power to them, I think for me, I saw it, if it's true, I saw it as an immediate W for Jack because for him, I think his biggest, uh, his like bulletproof vest in a way is him being embraced by the culture and especially black women. Cause once black women got your back, you can't do sh shit to take that person down. And if black women, like the queen of them, so to speak, in the industry is Lori Harvey or like the ultimate prize or whatever you want to call it. Jack Harlow's just going to get more cool points from yeah. all the rappers. Like he can talk that shit. Doesn't matter if he flops or not. Like he'll just look like the swaggiest white dude ever, let alone swaggy dude. Cause just being associated with her, people thought you were like a, a G and like a player. But now if he gets her, like it's a rap, like he's, his commute his career is immune yeah dude and like that's that's I, it's a great take man i'm glad you said it as well like that's a great take like it's gonna put, i think his his championship belt right now is how much do hip-hop black people the culture embrace me mm -hmm. you know what i mean like am i i'm not just this Mac, like macklemore asher roth kind of like i can do what you guys do but i'm really not one of you like I think like him right if like if this is true with the Drake co-signs, the DJ drama co-signs, like like dude, like yeah, like that's that's a huge win, bro. Like it's like, all right, bro, you had a bad album, but fuck dude, we still fucking like you. You know what I mean? Like we yeah. not, like we don't just like we fuck with you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like so yeah, bro, that's that that will honestly like I think people forget how bad the album is if like they, these motherfuckers start dating for like four or five months. Like, cause it's not gonna last, obviously. Yeah. But like, <laughs> if they date for four or five months, like, and they end the year together, like, on a, I can see it now, like a New Year's Eve together. It's mm -hmm. like, oh man, this motherfucker is like huge. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Even though like in the big scheme of things, like Lori Harvey really isn't big outside the culture. Like, if we think about it, like, no yeah. one's really talking. What does she do? Like, she's just. Steve Harvey's daughter, like, yeah. okay, like she's she's pretty. I think she's gorgeous. Blake Blair thinks she's like a six or a seven, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true, black women. I think she's a ten out of a ten. <laughs> but yeah, dude, that that'd be a huge win for him, bro. Honestly, so like, if it's if and maybe do I? I can even see this should be marketing. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. like yo, like, listen, help me out here. We can make this work. Blah blah. Yeah. blah. But, I was gonna yeah. make that point too. Like maybe this shit isn't even real. I could easily see it be some industry thing where it's like, yo, my my sales were a little low, um, and you're not with them anymore. Like you don't even have to fucking stand next to me. We'll find. Yeah, we'll yeah. Do let's the, just make people think. Deep fake. We'll do like hire Kanye or or Kendrick's video team and just have some other white dude stand next to you. And I wouldn't be surprised because. I mean, it really does happen. We just don't get obviously told who those relationships are. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I guess for me, I'm just like, I think she's pretty. Um, I just always fascinated how in the industry, people all go after the same like four or five girls. Um, yeah. And I think originally it was confusing to me just because I'm like, I see women who are just as pretty if not more pretty like out in public like yeah airport or something but i guess it, it really boils down to like the status symbol of it like i got this woman that everyone else wants who's associated with this person therefore that rubs onto me and if jack is doing that i guess i could see how that would be super beneficial as opposed to some random chick who has who's just pulling off the street yeah punk reduce spot on and then even for her right because i think like people feel very comfortable calling her certain kind of names but then it's like bro like if you're a woman of a certain stature you can't just go date the guy who works your local fucking barista you right. know what i mean like it, it has to be a guy who's comfortable with someone who has her own millions and dude like that's gonna be a certain kind of person right 
Mm-hmm. Um, and then, yeah, they're going to be famous more than likely. So you're going to know of it. You know what I mean? It doesn't take, like, everyone has, like, I mean, not to copy the game's line, but, like, everyone has a past. You know what I mean? Like, your girl had people, like, my girl had people before me. Like, it's just, I don't know them, thankfully. And I don't fucking, you know, whatever. But, so I just, I, I, I do feel bad for, like, her and, like, females like that who, like, get a terrible rap because, like, you know all their boyfriends. It's like, yeah. dude, who do you want me to fucking date? Like, you know right. what I mean? It has to be someone who kind of gets my life. Yeah. And I, I think for her it also if if she is moving on from Michael B. Jordan and Jack Harlow it doesn't really come across as like promiscuous or manipulative as maybe someone else because I think Jack Harlow kind of has a clean cut image he seems like a harmless like playful dude also he happens to be white so I think it this move if it's true isn't as bad or isn't going to be as talked down upon as it as it, uh as opposed to if she were to go to like i don't know uh little baby or some shit yeah it's like oh obviously she's yeah. a little baby yeah yeah for sure yeah so it kind of is a win-win for both of them to be honest so yeah uh we'll see how that plays out um you know if hip-hop keeps being as bleak this would be the the new thing that we talk about every single week like our oh, updates on <laughs> lori harvey and jack harlow yeah. Fuck, I hope not. Dude. <laughs> I know that's why I was like, damn, I, I didn't want I know we never want to turn this shit into like a gossipy, like who's dating who type thing, but I, I think I don't know, Jack Harlow just always finds his way into one of these fucking stories somehow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which again is a still a win for him, bro. Like the KFC thing is a win. The new balance thing is a like it's he's finding ways to pick up wins in the other things that he's meant to be doing good that besides rapping. So like Yeah. In some kind of way, it's still some kind of evil genius by him and his marketing team. So, yeah. I mean, shout out to him, bro. Like, he's going to be around for a while. Yeah. To our point before, he just may not be that guy when it comes yeah. to music. So, um, even the game brought him up. I know we're going to get to it.